Hello Seaside Shadows, Ghost Walkers, and Spooky Friends. It's Courtney here on your Witchy Wednesday, and I have been waiting so anxiously for this particular Witchy Wednesday. Now some of you may be new to our subscription and to our, our channel or our Facebook page, so in case you're new, I'm going to briefly tell you why I'm so excited and what we're doing today. So in early June, we did a Witchy Wednesday. Wednesday where we started an Artemisia Moontime Elixir, which is a dream elixir. And Artemisia is, of course, meaning mugwort. Now, the name Artemisia instead of mugwort does refer to the goddess Artemis. And Artemis being this lead and amazing female figure has made this a very feminine uh, particular herb that has helped out women over the years. But she's also powerful of the mind, Artemisia is and that makes this particular elixir not just good for women and their health but also good for dreams now the thing about mugwort that many of you need to know is that it's very potent and it's been used in herbs for a lot of years and we have this lovely everything we're making is out of our own mugwort plant that we've been growing so this one's pretty well seasoned this has grown tall it actually grew through the pot and we have on here all the little seeds that we can plant for more mugwort if we wanted them next year. But when we look down here in front, you'll see that there's a smaller plant that is residual from when we pulled out the roots of a plant to make this concoction. And you can already see it already started growing again on the smaller one. Now mugwort is the main ingredient in what we're making today, which is a dream elixir. Now this is something that you'll be able to use and actually ingest uh, before bedtime. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the safety of that and what we've made so far. So on June 10th, about two months ago, almost exactly, we did part one of the Moontime Elixir. And it's this long since we did part one because it has to sit for six to eight weeks, the first part. And in part one, what we made was a tincture with bits of mugwort leaves, roots, and seeds, which I will show you whoo, in here. There's a very potent smell. I'm not going to tell you it's the best smell, but those are the mugwort leaves and seeds. And what we did was cover that with a strong, high proof alcohol. We picked a vodka that we covered it in and we sealed it up for the two months. And this is what's left when we strained out what was left, it looks like this. So this is what we would call the Artemisia tincture. But that's not enough, as helpful as this may be in and of itself. There's still a second part that needs to come into this. And the second part is what we've been working on today. So when we started this, we measured out the roots and leaves. And of the roots and leaves, there's different amounts that we've talked about. But you save half of your roots. And we kept those in a separate jar. And then you take those roots and you put them into boiling water. And you simmer them for about a half hour. And that's what we did prior to this, so you wouldn't have to watch me boil roots for a half hour, right? When we simmered the roots for a half hour, we strained them. That's the thing, is you're always going to strain out the plant parts. You, we strained out the plant from the vodka tincture, and then we're also strained out the roots from the water tincture. And this is cooling here right now. So these two things are going to go together. And they're going to be mixed with a little bit of honey. But since this just came off the stove, we want to make sure that it cools down properly so that we don't mess up the tincture that's been sitting for two months. Now, what is this in front of it? We are going to make some with this. Typically, you want to see a greenish color. Sometimes it can be very bright green with mugwort. But we also made some in our cauldron over flame. So, of course, it got a little cauldron ash in there. But I think that adds a little extra magic. We also boiled it in full moon water that we gathered mixed with spring water 
So we gathered water from the Mystic River and also used some spring water, mixed that, so that we still have our full moon magic that's incorporated in this particular recipe. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to keep all of this tincture together. We're going to put just about half a cup of the new root water into it. And then we're going to put just about a quarter of a cup of honey so that it's sweet because if you smelled it right now you would know that it's not very sweet and you would not be so inclined to imbibe this at all. Once we've mixed these things together into these nice little bottles you're going to take just a droplet or two, no more, and put it into your tea before bed or you can just take it directly. So what happens when you do this? What happens most notably is your dreams are affected. So it's very important for a person to have a solid REM sleep cycle where they can go through a dream cycle to go through the events of the day and for their own mental health. But it's also this time in spiritualism that's very important because it's when we can connect with the other side and connect with who we are and what we need. But if you're having trouble sleeping, you're not getting that REM cycle and you're not getting the full depth of what you need. So this Artemisia elixir is going to help you with that. And then when you get to your REM cycle, these are some changes that could happen. If you're a person who never remembers their dreams, you just say, I don't know if I dream, I've never remembered them. I hear that all the time, and that used to be me. Take this, and you'll remember your dreams. Say you dream only in black and white. You take this, and you dream in color. And the conversations you can have in your dreams can be very real. But here's the other side, the warning to this beautiful mugwort plant. It does have the ability, if ingested in high amounts, to not only make you very sick to your stomach, instead of easing stomach pains, which it would be used for, uh, especially with women during their monthly cycle, but it can make you hallucinate because this is actually what's used as a leading ingredient in absinthe. And it would be as if you took too much of that and it's not going to taste nearly as well. We want you to have solid dreams, but we want your spiritual connection to be vivid and real and for you to know that it's real and not a hallucination. So it's important that you are very careful with the amount of mugwort artemisia you ingest. Now, I also mentioned in the description here today a lot about how helpful this is for women. And the reason that it's called a moon time elixir is because back in the day, uh, people referred to a woman's menstrual cycle as their moon cycle. And it's actually been proven that women's cycles do match with the moon cycles, the full moon and the new moon. But women are more able to dream and come into their power during their cycle. And so what helps them with this? Artemisia. And then they have these really powerful dreams. So this is a really great thing for women as well. And if you have any cramps, this will also help you so that you can focus on good things. So we have the wonderful side effects that come with this for women, but we also have the ability to dream. And we have some nice anti-inflammatory effects, just like we did with our lavender water and rosemary water. So now that this has cooled just a bit, it's still quite hot, um, that we're going to mix a little bit of our things together here. So I'm going to make sure that it's all in one jar first, but because I spill a lot and I'm very clumsy, we're going to remove some of our extra mugwort leaves and seeds, put it in the mortar and pestle. Perhaps we'll find another uh, life for it. Otherwise, we have plenty of mugwort left. But we want to make sure that we don't have too many plants in the tincture, especially if you're going to drink it. Um, I, for one, would recommend it with tea, personally. It's just got a very strong taste and your tea will help you overpower it. So we have a relatively empty bottle here. We're going to pour in the tincture. Remember this is the vodka and this is what the mugwort sat in. And now we're going to mix in a little bit of this water. and a little bit of honey. 
I'm hoping this will sweeten the, the smell of it as well. All right. So we have those all together. We're just gonna make sure we shake it up a little bit so that everything can kind of meet and become one. And then this officially becomes your Artemisia Moon Time Elixir. All right, so what we used first time round again were roots and seeds and leaves of the mugwort plant. And we covered that with a high proof alcohol and we let it sit for two months. Then we took half of the roots that we collected the first time round and put them to boil for a half an hour and then steep. That should give you this greenish tinge to your water. And then we took that second concoction, which we call the root concoction, and we mixed it with the tincture that we did first. And then we added some honey so that we have that natural sweetness from the earth as well. Now, uh, we're going to make sure that these go into these lovely bottles here. We'll have them for sale on our shop, and you'll be able to buy, if you don't want to go through all of this, growing this giant mugwort plant, you'll be able to buy the Artemisia Moontime Elixir and get this on our Seaside Shadows Magic Store within the next week or so. It stays good for well over a year, so you can have droplets in your tea for a while to come. But remember, be safe with this. Use it to enhance your dreams. Use it to connect with spirit. Use it to get the messages that you need. That's what the goddess Artemis inspired this plant for. And that is why healers have used this throughout the years. But please remember that if you take too much, your dreams will no longer be prophetic, but will be merely a hallucination. And we wouldn't want that to happen. We want this to be a help, not a hindrance to your spiritual connection. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to part two of our Witchy Wednesday. I'm sorry it took so long, but I am quite glad that the steeping is finished so we were able to finish this beautiful uh, conglomeration of ingredients today. Remember to check our Seaside Shadows Magic store for this when it goes on sale. You can also see on our store our previous things that we've made to include black salt, lavender water, rosemary water and cauldron brew and which some books I've written are on the store as well and we're going to have some apparel there shortly and if you are not into shopping online but you would rather come see us we hope that you'll come see us in Mystic Connecticut we'll be running the rest of the summer fall and right into the new year on our haunted history tours thank you so much and we will see you next week for Cemetery Saturday